Hi, kids. We now know when to use division. Now we will learn how to divide any number with multiples of 10. Like 10, 100, thousands. So let's get started. We have to divide 20 by 10. So we can write it like this. In order to divide, with 10, we have to cut a rightmost zero from numerator and denominator. And you are left with 2 by 1 and any number divided by 1 is same number or 2 by 1 equals 2. So 20 by 10 is 2 by 1 equals 2. Now, let's take another example. We have to divide 200 divided by 100. We write it like this. Now, in order to divide with 100, we have to cut the two rightmost zeros from numerator and denominator. And you are left with 2 by 1. And any number divided by 1 is the same number. So 200 by 100 equals 2 by 1 is 2. Now let's take another example. Now let's divide 200 by 10. In order to divide with 10, we have to cut the rightmost 0 from numerator and denominator. So we are left with 20 by 1 or 20. So 200 by 10 equals 20 by 1 equals 20. Now let's take another example. Now let's divide 4,000 by 100. In order to divide with 100, we have to cut the two rightmost zeros from numerator and denominator. So we are left with 40 by 1. So 4,000 by 100 equals 40 by 1 equals 40. Now, let's take another example. Let's divide 2003 by 100. In order to divide with 100, we have to cut the two rightmost zeros from the numerator and denominator. But here we don't have zeros at rightmost places in 2003. So what should we do here? We put a decimal after two digits from right in the numerator. So, what we did here to cut two zeros of denominator, we put decimal after two digits from right in the numerator. And we are left with 20.03 by 1. So, 2003 by 100 equals 20.03 by 1 is 20.03. Now, let's take more such examples to learn more. Now, let's divide 345 by 10. In order to divide with 10, we have to cut the rightmost zero from the numerator and denominator. But here we don't have a zero at the rightmost place in the numerator. So what should we do here? Whenever we don't have zeros to cut, we can put decimal after the same number of digits from the right. So we will put a decimal after one digit from the right, like this. So what did we do? Here to cut zero of denominator, we put decimal after one digit from right in the numerator and we are left with 34.5 by 1. 
So 345 by 10 equals 34.5 by 1 equals 34.5. Now, let's take more such examples. Now, let's divide 4,567 divided by 1,000. In order to divide by 1,000, we need to cut three zeros from the numerator and denominator. But we do not have zeros in the rightmost place in the numerator. So, what do we do here? We can put decimals in the numerator after three digits from the right. So, after cutting three zeros in the denominator and putting decimals in the numerator after three digits from the right, we get 4.567. So, 4,567 divided by 1,000 equals 4.567. Now, let's take another example. Now, how do we divide 23 by 1,000? To cut three zeros of denominator, we need to put decimal after three digits from the right in the numerator. But we don't have three digits in the numerator. In that case, Put zero at the leftmost place in the numerator, as putting zeros to the left of the number does not change the number, so make it zero, two, three. Now, put decimal after three digits from the right. So we are left with 0 0.023 by one equals 0 0.023. So, 0 0.023 is our answer. Let's divide 4 by 100. In order to divide by 100, we need to cut two rightmost zeros from the numerator. But there are no zeros in the rightmost places in the numerator. So what will we do here? Instead of cutting zeros, we can put decimals after two digits from the right in the numerator. But again, we do not have two digits in the numerator. So, what can we do here? We can put zero at leftmost place in the numerator, as putting zeros at the leftmost places in the number does not change the number. So, we can write it like 0, 04 by 100. And now, we can cut the two zeros of the denominator and put decimal after two digits from right in the numerator. So we got 0 0.04 by one. So our answer is zero four. So we learned four divided by 100 equals 0 0.04. So kids, now, Let's see some quick examples. 5 by 100 equals 0, 05 by 100 equals 0, 0.05 by 100 is 0, 0.05. 345 by 1000 equals 0.345 by 1000 is 0.345. 4,500 by 1,000 equals 4,500 by 1,000 equals 45 by 10 equals 4.5 by 10 is 4.5. So kids, Today we have learned how can we divide numbers with multiples of 10. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, 
English, and Science to clear the core basics of these subjects.